Texas at MyCleanPC.com. Yeah, so apparently the engineers who built the 2011 F-150 just got back from a road trip to the future with your new truck engine, okay? It's a bit of high-tech genius called EcoBoost with stuff like direct injection and piston cooling jets. It kicks out power and fuel economy. Try 420 pound-feet of torque and from our pals at the EPA, an estimated 22 highway miles per gallon. That's Eco and Boost. We got both, they don't. This is the future. This is the Ford F-150. Well, driver David Rudiman had the fans out in full force this morning as he stopped by the souvenir trailer to sign a couple of autographs. Two-time winner in the uh, Sprint Cup Series could definitely add another one at any time as those guys continue to try to fight to get that win and maybe make it into the chase. Now, we are all looking for wins here on race day as we take a look at our Sunoco performance pick, performance pick standings. That's easy to say. Kenny is in the lead. Somebody else is trailing by 17. Then it's Kyle Hermy. And Wendy's all the way back, 48 points out. But, Wendy, this is a long season. We reset. And once again, ladies first. Hey, I've been busy in the garage. What can I say? No, I'm just teasing. Okay, there's actually a race happening today at Kansas Speedway, and the guy that I think is going to get to victory lane first, Carl Edwards. Now, yes, I did pick him last week because my grandmother said he was going to win, and so maybe it's just a week off. So I'm sticking with the 99. I need a win, Carl. Help me, please. Kyle? Oh, is it me? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, no, it's no, not no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Unfortunately, I will go back, <clears throat> excuse me, to Charlotte and say, I'm proud of the pick I made with Jamie McMurray last week. It didn't work out. He blew up, but he drove his way to the front before he got there. But on to today, Greg Biffle, his crew will keep him cool, and he'll make it back to victory lane here at Kansas for the third time. KP? Yeah, man, I am proud of the pick I had last week, too. Matt Kenseth, he's my man. Okay, and he's going to be my man again this week. Jeremiah Weed last week was a sponsor. Affliction this week is a, week is a sponsor. My God. Uh, he's the only guy I know that's running faster and faster and getting younger and younger with the sponsors that he has. All right, speaking of getting younger. It's John. <laughs> actually, this has nothing to do with anybody it's getting John. any younger because me and the driver I'm picking are both getting older by the minute. But uh -oh. nonetheless, there is still a lot of fire under the hood in that number 24 car. Four-time champion, Jeff Gordon. You can't keep a good guy down for long, and he is going to come out to get his third win. He's one of only a handful of multiple winners at this racetrack. And if anybody knows how to get it done, Kenna Wallace, it's Jeff Gordon. And no race fans, I am not on a construction site. I said to myself, Who's been coming along here lately? Who ran third last week in the Coke 600? Joey Logano. He's running really good here at Kansas. His practice went great. He qualified really, really good. I'm picking Joey Logano to stun the nation today and win the race. Stun, Kenny, stun we just, yeah, the we the just know Kenny Wallace has always wanted to be one of the village people. Yes, he does. He looks like now he's the Y M C. <laughs> yes, he is. Right. Let's move along before we get into any uh, more trouble here. Friday, the trucks stampede into the Lone Star State, where the racing's roughest cowboys come out with guns ablazing in a Wild West shootout for the checkers. Don't miss NASCAR Camping World Truck Series action from Texas Friday at 8:30 Eastern, live on Speed. After the break, Wendy and Hermie and Rutledge join us for another edition of what we call the Lightning Round. Rapid fire interviews with your favorite drivers are coming up next. Look outside. It's grow time. So let's plant some perennials that'll turn up every year. Trees and shrubs to give us depth and fill it out with flowers placed in just the perfect place. Let's start at the place with the best plants, people, and prices. What do you say we plant a weekend, water it, and watch a summer spring up? More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Right now, Roundup Weed and Grass Killer or Ortho Weed Be Gone Max is just $8.88. Andrews gets back in and we move to the top of the eight. Some guys spend their lives reaching for the brass ring. Some are smart enough to realize they already have it. Turtle wax ice. Do yourself proud. His future, full of fun and promise. 
and Lucas Deep Clean